Hi there YouTube, it's Kevin here, welcome back to the YouTube channel, and today I'm really, really excited to bring to you guys my new style of reviews moving forward, and so, uh, before <laughs> anything else, I just wanted to say, um, this newly revamped style of review incorporates both details about shoes, um, alongside sizing information, and a newly kind of developed section where I give you guys like outfit inspiration or even just general advice on how to style the shoe in case if you want to pick it up for your wardrobe. And so uh, without further ado, um, I'm going to give you guys the quick rundown. So today the review will be about the Yeezy 350 shoe and I could not think of a better time to drop this review than this weekend because um, I believe globally they're dropping the Yeezy Ash Stone and the Yeezy Ash Blue 350s uh, this weekend. And so if you guys are looking to pick this up for your wardrobe, this might be a good review for you guys to, you know, listen in on. Well, without further ado, let's just check out the shoe. All right, you guys, to kick off this review, I'm going to start off with my Yeezy Bread 350s. And um, while other variants of this model uh, will, you know, of course vary um, from shoe to shoe, but generally the review and the materials are pretty similar. So uh, let's just dive straight into it. So here I have my Yeezy Bread 350s. Um, it's called Bread because it is primarily made up of the colors black and red. Of course, um, you see a full prime knit upper. So all of the upper is completely in prime knit, super comfortable, super soft, really nice to the feet. And on top of that, uh, you have a really interesting stitching down the middle of the shoe. Um, I actually really like it. I think it's like holding the prime knit together. And of course, um, there should be a stripe uh, right where my index finger is kind of alluding to. Sometimes the stripe varies, sometimes it's translucent, you can see your sock. For the Bread's case, you see Supply 350 and it's kind of printed backwards. It's a really unique touch and across uh, the different models of the 350 shoe, you'll get something different uh, depending on what it is. I have a feeling the 350 is actually going to go down in history as like more or less a timeless classic because as long as there are colors in, you know, Hex or like RGB, Kanye will be able to release another iteration of the shoe. It's super comfortable because of the Prime Minute and of course because of the boost technology down here. So uh, this is the Adidas boost technology. It's really kind of cushiony. It gives a good spring and a good bounce when you walk. And so coupled with the Prime Knit, it really makes a recipe for comfort. Um, of course, that's probably a lot of the reasons why this shoe, it's so successful. The boost itself is encapsulated with this kind of rubber outsole and it's kind of, you know, ribbed across across the entire outsole. Um, this is consistent across all the 350 models and of course the final touch here is you have a heel tab to help you put on the shoe and take off the shoe and finally uh, you have your 3M reflective Adidas triple stripe logo. <laughs> this shoe is really just a standard shoe. It's a super comfortable shoe and let's get straight into sizing now. <laughs> um, so. I am a size 7 for all my Nike shoes, and also a size 7 or 6.5 for Converse. I opt for size 8 with my Yeezy 350s, and the reason why I go size 8 is because the structure of the shoe is actually incredibly pointy, so it's very unforgiving for wider feet, and I do have wide feet, and so that's why I end up pushing myself up that one size. If you have narrow feet, um, I think you can get away with just your true to size, but for the wide footers out there, I would highly recommend going up one size from your standard like Nike size, or at least just a half a size, um, because they do offer these in the half size margins as well. Um, of course, if you have any questions about sizing, feel free to leave the comments down below, and uh, I'll let you guys know uh, what I can try to recommend for you guys. Um, you know, just the usual. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for sizing. One thing I really like doing when I'm wearing the shoe is I take out the insole, um, just because it adds a little bit of room for my foot, and of course, just makes the overall experience very comfortable. Um, I feel like with the insoles in there, there's just this extra bit of padding that's a little bit excessive and kind of cramps up my toes. But yeah, just to recap, it is a super comfortable shoe. You get a lot of cushion, um, whether it's through the Prime Knit or the Boost. Uh, of course, you have a pointy kind of structure to the shoe, so be very careful if you're a wide footer. And uh, I think that pretty much summarizes all the sizing, um, the general details of the shoe. Uh, to conclude, for those of you who are picking up, you know, the newer models of this shoe, whether it be the Ash Blue or the Ash Stone, um, I highly recommend you style these with 
um, clothing items that are really similar. So for the ash blue, I would go for maybe uh, baby blue hoodies or baby blue t-shirts. Um, uh, I think like generally speaking, like Yeezys just look really well with you know white t-shirts or complementary colors. Um, for shoes like the Breads here, I would always opt to go like a full black outfit or you know like some red here and there. I think that um, it really does. Uh, retain a lot of the consistency throughout the color schemes and um, it adds to generally what the Z350 has to offer. Thank you guys very much. I hope that this review was short, sweet, simple, and uh, helped you guys a little bit in, you know, whether it be choosing how to size this out for yourself or just uh, general ideas on how you should style this shoe. Um, I'm going to conclude here with some on foots. Thank you guys very much for tuning in, and as always, take care and leave any sizing questions down below. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the content, and I'll see you guys next week.